was a perfect man marriage for us because the HRD actually identified the renewable energy sets as one of its potential growth areas for Barbados. So we submitted an application to them in the period 2014 to 2015 um, to facilitate the production of a solar PV guide as well as the delivery of four sensitization training workshops as part of that initiative. As part of the project, we felt it was important to let people actually see the technology as well, they're talking about it all the time. So the project in Belle Plain was a unique one because it, it was a mixture of renewable energy and agriculture in an environmentally controlled agriculture facility. And um, the persons could actually see how you use solar for, for, for something very practical and something that is not very typically used for, that is agriculture. So the funding from the HRD project was really quite unique. It so coincided with um, their uh, objectives to, to bring about um, greater awareness in the agriculture sector of the alternative ways that they can, they can make their production more efficient. And when we approached them about it, they were quite keen and it happened a lot quicker than we really anticipated. Definitely has been a milestone um, for the Barbados Renewable Energy Association. It now sets us apart as a leading NGO, um, not only locally, but across the region in the renewable energy sector. It has allowed for us to be able to facilitate our mandate, specifically the component which speaks to education, training, and sensitization. And that could not have been possible without the funding provided by the Human Resource Development Strategy.